Uh, hello all, my name is Deep Ranjan. A very good morning to all of you. So today we are going to understand about a very important topic that is GRU, Gated Recurrent Unit. So GRU is a variant of LSTM, okay, and because both are designed similarly and in some cases they produce equally uh, equally excellent result okay so the gated recurrent unit recurrent unit was proposed by kyung yung cho and steam in 2014 so if you remember lstm was uh, like a proposed in uh, 1997 i guess right and it came since 2014 so it's really new new one okay so SGRU so gated recurrent unit solves the vanishing and gradient problem which uh, comes with a standard recurrent neural network so as we all know it's a variant of LSTM and also it is a simplified simplified version of LSTM so if you can see here uh, uh, there are uh, like a less number of gates are there controllers are there if you remember in LSTM we have a three gate control like a three controllers input gate output gate and forward gate so in this one uh, in GRU one we have only uh, two gate controller one is RT another one is ZT RT stands for reset gate and ZT stands for update gate you can say that okay so what is RT here? So RT as you all know is a reset kit. So it controls the previous states. It controls the information coming from the previous states that will be shown to the main layer. So main layer that is this one. This one is the main layer. So it, it controls the output coming from the previous layer and how much output it will be passed to the main layer that will be controlled by this reset gate so if we could so in reset gate uh, here it is not mentioned there but in reset gate sigmoid function is there right and we all know sigmoid uh, activation function has has a value in between 0 and 1 so if it is 0 there won't be any effect on this main layer if it is 1 then it will pass all the information coming from the previous state and this ZT. ZT is the update gate. Okay, so this is the new one. Okay, so ZT controls like uh, ZT controls two layers here. One is input layer, another one is forward layer. Okay, so if you can see here, uh, like whatever information passed through this ZT layer will get uh, like a subtracted. Okay, here then after that there will be a multiplication so if the value passes through this one okay so that simply uh, that simply means this uh, gate will be closed this forward gate will be closed okay because one minus one that will be zero and this gate will be open okay and if the value lies like a value goes through this layer will be zero then this will be open and this will be closed that is the thing and this is the ST minus one, and this is the ST, the output layer. That's the thing. Okay. And this is our the uh, main layer. You can call it GT also, candidate gate. You can also say that. So it it is getting input from the XT. Okay. You can see here XT and this RT. Okay. And both are getting added, and then it will, uh, and then there will be a matrix multiplication, and that matrix multiplication will happen uh, with the input of this. Jetty, okay and then it will be a uh, addition there will be an addition operation uh, whatever out like a uh, whatever information coming from this ht minus one will be get multiplied with this one information like if it pass one zero so there won't be any information so simply there will be zero plus addition of this gt layer okay and that will be passed to the ht minus one that is the thing so that is the uh, simple like this is a, this is a simple architecture or like a, it's a single cell architecture of GRU. If you can see here, these are the equations. Uh, if you can uh, generate it, these are the equation governing for the GRU cells. Okay, so ZT. Uh, I'm done.
for the jet t so jet t is passing through this sigmoid layer so you can see this sigmoid a uh, sigmoid activation function not layer okay and there is a weight multiplication and it is getting input from ht minus 1 and this x xt that is mentioned here and this rt you are talking about this is also uh, like a pass through a sigmoid activation function and weight will be multiplied and input coming from ht minus 1 and xt okay and this ht that's the uh, candidate generation gate you can say that okay so that is uh, there it is a tanh activation function okay so that tanh and then there will be a weight multiplied with rt so we all know here like it is getting uh, this uh, ht or gt whatever you say uh, just is a matter of uh, symbol nothing else okay so it is getting input from rt okay so this is the rt into ht minus 1 this one ht minus 1 it is getting input and there is one more input it is coming that is xt okay that's the thing and ht this is the output okay so at our output is getting input from this one and this one right so there is a addition operation so you can see here 1 minus jt so whatever information passed through 1 minus jt whatever input it will provide it that will be getting multiplied with ht minus 1 here it is mentioned okay and then it will be there will be an addition operation that addition is there and after that there is jt whatever value passed through the jt and then the matrix multiplication of ht candidate gate that is passed so this these are the equations okay uh, through these equations only we can uh, go for the backward propagation that will have in the backward propagation most of the time so now if you can see here uh, what all changes in uh, gru with respect to lstm so you can see here uh, in lstm we have two states okay one is cell state another one is hidden state and in gru we have only one state that is hidden state st minus one and there they are using three gate controllers a forget gate input gate and the output gate there here we are using only two gate controller one is uh, reset gate another one is uh jt jt is update gate okay so you can we can say that it's a simplified version okay right and so it's a simplified version so definitely there will be uh so now so what are the advantages now i'll tell you some of the advantages so number of weights we need to update is very less compared to lstm so in gru uh, we know there are less uh, cell states okay there are very less cell states and the, this controllers so definitely there won't be any uh, like a much complex operation here as compared to lstm and our training will be faster okay that's fine so that's in for this video uh, we'll